I can't I'm trying to make these more professional. You know how hard it is to find some twerkers? No, I mean girls who work. I mean, no, really. Do you know how hard it is to find girls who twerk? I'm saying work. I'm saying because they're all full of equality these days. Yeah, I'm officially a feminist. I believe in, uh, well, equality. Anyway, we're going to talk about some really serious stuff today. Day trading. You know, I just don't know which approach I need to take. Should I take the more professional day trading approach? I mean, what do you think? I mean, should I just go... I'm still working on my intro. I mean, should I be like day trading instructor? Jonathan Fibonacci, nature, dad, stock trader, teacher. Or should I be like, should I just lead in with light boom? Okay. Uh oh. I can tell they're up to something. Yep. Yep. There you are. My favorite twerker right there. I think they said Hoochie. And anyway, this is my favorite. Yeah, you know, I don't want I don't want to like to come across as crass, but I think this is full commitment twerking here. Full commitment twerking. Cause sometimes those twerkers, like you can tell they're just not putting their back into it. Like, they're just not. And it pisses me off. And I gotta totally give that girl credit because you don't wanna give her credit. And then we're gonna talk about day trading. And like what if my battery just died and you'd be like, There you go. Gotta support your local YouTuber, Shoshana, if you'd like me to come over there to Russia. I'll be happy to adopt you. You know how like they go over there. Anyway, don't mess with Russia. That's the one thing about this um, this country that concerns me is we are not taking Russia more, more seriously. And unfortunately, don't get me on politics, but I don't think Obama was as effective as he needed to have been. Um, anyway, there I go politicking. Jonathan Fibonacci, I'm going to teach you day trading. I want to show you um, Elliott Wave. It's a day trading instruction theory. There's a long intro. Got to make these videos exciting. Got to get the likes. By the way, if you like this channel, I talk about all kinds of stuff. I talk about being kind, how much I hate Conor McGregor, UFC. But I'm secretly trying to get a job for the UFC. Of course, an Asian dude would be like, I'll holla, hashtag MRA. Got some Smurfs, word of the day, a datum. Where is your a datum? You're like, I think that's like my uvula. No, no, that's not your uvula. That's a, those are bunny rabbits. And then we got, of course, I love talking about the markets. But look at this, one fucking view. No human alive knows more about private equity day trading than me. In fact, I'm probably the only YouTuber that you'll ever watch that has his own little purple notebook full of patterns that the stock market waves, waves, wave theory makes, boom, let's talk about money. So here we go. Now, day trading instruction, you know, I, earlier I did a, a video where I likened Elliott Wave, the five phases of Elliott Wave to taking a picture of a tree. And I give myself a 95%. It wasn't the perfect explanation. I want you to go back and watch that video. I want to show you something and it's called a fractal. Look at this. You like Fraggle Rock? No. Now, I want you to look at this movement here. Now, this is just a stock chart. This is just for teaching purposes. Notice that we had a, just a giant burst up. Okay. Now, that's actually an entire cycle of Elliott Wave. An entire cycle. Notice, boom, stable, boom. That's a real Jonified, Jonathan, corndog, boom, stable. Here's a 5C. Train your eye to see boom, stable, boom. Notice this cycle here. Notice it kind of has like a two-pronged approach, but that's a full cycle where the stock went from phase one, phase two, beautiful phase three, lazy phase four, lazy deadly phase four, um, and then majestic phase five. So here's another example of the same five, the five phases, but this time in a slower moving stock or a stock that moved more slowly. Notice, now it's kind of what I'll use the word broken up, but see that majestic fifth extension? Now, that's the same thing 
that happened here. It's the same exact thing that happened here. Except this, everything was encapsulated, but still it went through those phi's. You, uh, and then you could see that the fifth extension, here's the AB, boom. See that? And then go back to the simplistic boom, stable, boom. Now, there's a lot of things I just threw at you there. You know, I, I, we talked about stocks going up, stocks going down, encapsulated cycles, one, two, three, four, five. I'm talking about a five AB, five C. Maybe that made sense, maybe it doesn't. But as you're trading, just begin to start counting and locating the different fifth phase. For example, the two wave is so important because the two wave sets up for the third, the beautiful third phase. Okay, so the third, the second phase is not a profitable phase, but it's a great place. It is the place, the ideal place to get into a position. Well, how do you get into a position until you know what the second phase is? You only know the second phase because you saw the first phase. And so beginning to see the first phase, the second phase, the beautiful three, the, the, the deadly, the killer, the boring, fourth phase, and then the five. Of course, that goes down to an AB, and then the five C. Five C, those could be deadly, but they're great short positions, okay? So let me go back to Twitter, and I'll show you it all put together Fibonacci style. You want some Shoshana? You're like, now I totally understand why you started with the Russians because that was really complicated. So here you go. Gucci. Gucci. Okay, ready? We're going to count them. Hey, like Fibonacci, how do we hire you to come talk to our firm? You just pay me lots of money. Just fly me out to San Fran, New York, Fleet Street, first class. G4, you know, drop me like $2,500 a day per diem. Pay me like, I don't know, $1,000 a day after that. You're like, wait, that's nothing compared to what my firm makes or what I do. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'll be your private trader. We'll count waves. That's full commitment. All right. Here we go. Like Fabian, you're the only person that's using twerking, photography, and how you do it. You must be just amazing. Yeah, there I am. Amazing. Here we go. We're going to count Elliott Wave. Ready? First phase. Got to see the shadow. Boom. Something's going on here. I bet you there's some beautiful coming up. Second phase. Boom. We got ourselves a tree. We got ourselves a mode of move. You're like, holy shit, I love Durango. This guy's the best guy in the whole world. And then you go, third phase. Boom. Now we certainly got something going on. There's a tree, and, and that looks like the same. No, it's not. It's the third phases. While they're beautiful, they happen so quickly that you're usually catching the fifth extension aspect of the third phase. Okay? So while you won't follow this advice, it's very hard advice. Get into a third phase could be a bad trade, not because it's not a beautiful trade to go up. It's that the fourth phase is coming up and the fourth phase goes down and it usually goes down to the two wave area. Mark the two. Once it hits the two, you have a confirmed mode of wave to the fifth phase. Okay. So recognize that we go first wave is the sh are the shadows, and then we go to a tree, and then we go to the fourth wave. The fourth wave, like I said earlier, looks like this. Just a picture I pulled off Twitter. 3,000 men who helped build 810-foot-high Chase Bank in New York in 1964. That's the fourth phase. Lots of work. Most of the time, the stock, 50%, on, that's, not, that's just a Fibonacci rule of thumb, 50% of, at least, the stock is trading in the fourth phase. So you do the math. If 50% of the time the stock's in the, in the fourth phase, how good do you need to be at fourth phase maintenance and 
due, due diligence a lot because after the fourth phase, we are waiting for the fourth phase to be done at the two-wave phase because after all the boring, we go to the fifth wave. The fifth wave is just like the third wave, just has the fifth extension, and then it goes boom. Here's the fifth wave. And this is the beautiful wave. This is the one that you want to go long on. You want to buy that fourth phase because boom, just keeps on going. Here's the fifth extension. Man, those things can be beautiful. If you're trading 5,000 shares, 20,000 shares, catching a half a point, boom, that's beautiful stuff. You want to frame that shit and then boom. Then it's done. Then we go to the 5AB, the C way, and it's done. And it's and the cycle begins again. And then you shadows, two wave, three wave. See? Trading's very difficult. It's a lot like poker in the sense that you have to put in the hours. And a lot of times people don't realize that trading is so much about putting in the hours and marking the two wave and and looking and counting it's it it could be arduous it's not like wall street you know you guys be good email your thoughts questions you guys be good